I think we live in a very ungrateful generation where we have so much, yet we complain so much. We have so much to be grateful for, yet we take for granted all that we have and we just want more and more and more. And some people live unhappy because they don't have what they want and they're convinced once they get whatever it is they'll want, then they'll be happy. It's like we think that happiness is a destination. Once I get in this relationship, then I'll be happy. Once I get this job, this car, then I'll be happy. Once this problem turns around, then I'll be happy. But the reality is, you could have all the money in the world, the biggest car, the biggest house, all these friends, and still be unhappy, still be ungrateful. And if, if your happiness is only reliant on the temporary physical things, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. If your happiness is only reliant on a person, what happens if that person walks out of your life? They're taking your happiness with you. I'm grateful for the fact, I'm grateful to God and thankful to God every day with the parents that I have, that I have a roof over my head, food and water to drink and eat every day. I mean, how, how can I complain? I have so much. You might have so many things you want, but there's so much you have. There might be a lot wrong, but there's a lot right. Do you continually thank your parents for everything that they've done for you and given to you? Or do you continually ask them to give you more and more and take for granted all that they've done for you? And I don't, it doesn't matter how depressed you feel, how suicidal you feel, how anxious you feel, whatever state you're in in life, there's always something to be grateful for, always something to be thankful for. I'd like to encourage everybody to tag someone in the comments of this video that you're grateful to have in your life. That's a blessing in your life. Could be a friend, your partner, whoever it is. And remember, whatever state you're in in life, there's always something to be grateful for. Let's take the time to be a little bit more thankful and appreciate all that we have because in reality there's so many people around the world that would die to have your life. Take care everyone, my name is Daniel Amos, God bless.